What do you get when you cross this happy man and some yellow fearful stuff from outer space? That's right, I don't know either. Uh, my name is your dad, this is Ground Affected, and in this video, we're gonna be painting Yellow Lantern Superman from Suka Zubijibu. My channel is based on the way that I do the hobby of hobbying itself. In reality, I do a lot of hobbying, but one of the main uh, perpetrators of hobbying in my hobby is 3D printing. And this is another one of those videos where I 3D print a model and show you how to paint it very easily, even though it may not feel easily. Uh, basically, you need to first 3D print a model. As you may have seen, I used my Uniformation GK2 to 3D print this one, and that is because it is very cold, and that is the only printer I currently have that has a heater in it. And uh, also, it is one of my favorite printers at the moment, and if you like it, there will be a link for it in the description, and that does help the channel with a very small uh, uh, commission if you purchase from that link. And now, if you're going to paint anything that is a model, you're going to need to hold it. Holding the model is one of the things that is probably uh, the most confusing things when you start out, because if you hold it and paint it, you're going to have finger marks on your model. Once you've figured out a way of holding your model, it's time to give it a good old uh, coat of uh, primer. And the primer that I use is the Citadel one, which I found in the front of my shop, which I own, uh, that has hobby stuff in it. So you're going to have to find your own place to get it, uh, but there might be a link for it in the description. Maybe. Uh, this Superman is not something I'm used to. At first, I didn't even realize you could have something such as a yellow lantern superman but then i realized he was gold and i really like gold and uh, i'm gonna be using my favorite trick of montana gold on this piece uh, but we will get to that later first i used some uh, bronze and a little bit of rich gold and other golds from um, monument hobbies because i really like their uh, metallic paints but also because i wanted to have a difference in the color of his cape versus the color of the trimming on his suit this video was sponsored by Super Shark Patreon. This Yellow Lantern Superman was designed as part of a three set uh, of other models, which is including uh, the Wonder Woman Yellow Lantern version, as well as the Batman Yellow Lantern version. And these models can only be uh, available on Super Shark Patreon. If you are interested in these particular models, then please go and have a look at their Patreon in the description down below. It is because of the sponsors of this channel that I'm able to keep producing videos every week for you guys as well as the patreons and uh, I'd like to say thank you to all of those people right now I needed to make this black suit uh, have a little bit of shape to it it couldn't just be plain boring black because that is plain and boring so I sprayed it with some gray to give it some highlights and volume which is the fancy artist word for depth and shape basically and once I had done that you may notice that this now looks a little bit like a grey suit and not a black suit. So in order to fix that, I'm going to mix a nice bluish wash that I'm going to spray over everything in order to bring it into a blue and a slightly darker, not so greyish colour. Once I was happy with the colour of this, I then sealed it all in with the Liquitex matte varnish spray stuff that I got from uh, the artist shop down the road. And now, for those who have been struggling with skin tones, maybe this might be something to just kind of get you on your way. Maybe it isn't, I don't know. But, as you may notice, I have used a zenithal highlight over this face, and then I used literally the darkest brownish color inside of the fairy flesh set, and sprayed that from the shadows, and that is it. I called the skins done because I was happy with the contrast that I had. No, this is not the best way to do it, but it definitely works. Speaking of gold chrome though, this is the best color in the world, unless you don't dust your models before you paint it. Also, even if you dust your models, even if you worked in a vacuum and we were bold, you would still find a hair on one of the surfaces of this paint because it just has some kind of attraction for anything that has ever existed that would ruin your life on the surface of paint. This paint loves it. Next, it was for time for me to actually paint some of the details on top of this paint. It's difficult to paint on top of this paint, but if you give it some time and add a couple of layers, you may be able to make your way through it. Speaking of painting on top of this paint, I also decided at this point to take some Reichland Flesh Shade and paint a little bit of some damage 
onto those nice, very clean, factory fresh knee pads of that Superman has, as well as his awesome golden boots. I then used a matte black from Vallejo and painted the symbol on his chest. This was fairly easy because it was just an edge around the outside and painting on the inside, making sure not to paint outside the lines like a five-year-old child. Also, a little trick uh, for using that gold chrome and why I like to use it is because Monument Hobby's bronze almost looks just like it. So for small spaces like the little thin piece around the collar of his neck, I could paint that with that bronze and you would never have known. I filled in some of the crevasses with uh, Nelm oil, it was. I'm pretty sure it was Nelm oil uh, because this would just give the uh, crevasses a little bit more depth. I then used some 5 minute epoxy to glue everything together. Yes, I did say in the last videos uh, that I'm probably going to try to use more magnets. However, it's so much quicker and easier to just glue things when you are in a panic and that is exactly what I did in this case. On the hair, I literally used the same matte black from Vallejo but I watered this down so it was a little bit thinner which meant that it would leave a couple of uh, high spots and low spots let's say. And this is so that it's got a little bit of variation and it's not just one flat black color. Around the outside of the rim of the hair however I added some Reichland flesh shade as well as to the inside of his eyes, nose and ears to help create a little bit more, uh, I don't know, something. I painted his eyebrows the same black and it was about this time when I realized that the base that I had made absolutely sucked and the only way to fix it was by printing the same thing but in transparent resin this time. Once I had got it all printed, cured and cleaned up, it was time to paint it with a nice yellow ink. The yellow ink will tint the surface of this thing but not completely cover up the fact that it is transparent. This will turn it into something that is more translucent I think. I think those are the technical words, I don't actually know. Using Cassandora yellow, I sprayed into some of the crevasses and from the bottom to create a little bit more depth before giving it a super thick layer of this gloss clear coat from the cheap bargain shop just down the road. I then glued the superest of super yellowy lanterny mounds into his base and set about work on the face of this man. Uh, what I did originally was painted his eyes black in the sockets and used a little bit of white to give them some shape and also make them look like eyes kind of and then I painted a magenta over the top of them before painting a little bit of red and a small spot of white and a little dot of orange. Yes, that's what I did. I didn't even film any of that and uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Uh, but what you can see me doing is giving a gentle dry brush of the blue mixed into the black over the hair so that it is not too boring looking. And that is pretty much where I decided to call this model done. Thank you for your great cooperation in watching this video and if you didn't like anything that you saw then now is the time for you to kindly fuck off. <laughs>